Hello everybody, it's Scott Omato back for another episode of Thriving with Project E. Yes, we are starting to thrive. We're going to do some mining the Project E way. And it is much more interesting and fun. But we definitely want to make a mark of where we are. Because we'll create little mousetraps for ourselves. Now, one th another item I need to see if it will add it, if it will pull it, is we need to get our divining rod back out. And the second level is fine for here. Um, don't think it gets pulled into the system. I don't think any of the Project E tools do. No. Okay, so we don't need to add it to the filter, but it, everything's getting pulled into the backpack, which is not a problem. It's just we got to be aware of it. So using the, the destruction catalyst in conjunction with the divining rod means guaranteed diamonds. Guaranteed when you find them. So when you locate them, remember we're searching and we need to change our, our setting here. Switch to 16 by 3 mode. 2048 gold that way. Remember it's searching 16 by 3. By three, so whenever we locate diamonds, which we should, all right, right there, then we guarantee that we pull those diamonds as soon as we do that because they're 16 blocks away from us. All right, so we should have pulled, we've got 11 diamonds now. Now we need to see the walls to see if we pulled them all. Or whatever, but we know for a fact that as soon as we locate diamonds, we're not in uh, extreme hills anymore, so we won't find emeralds. But as soon as we locate diamonds, we've got them. All right. No digging to them anymore or anything of that nature. Just purely location and find them and then expand our tunnel. So we just expand our tunnel out. We don't have to worry about silverfish anymore. If you're in extreme hills, obviously you're going to unleash a lot more silverfish on you. But basically you just want to go along and search for diamonds along the walls of your mining area. And as soon as you locate them, then you've got them. The floor's good too. And you know for a fact that there's none in those chunks surrounding you. So you're not concerned that I've missed some diamonds or whatever. Now things like redstone and stuff, it's to your advantage to pull them in. Now everything we did mine right there either went into our bag or got converted to EMC. So it's worth grabbing stuff because we're essentially making iron out of it now if it's above all right, there's diamonds this way. Uh, a little bit of a weird setup here, but just go that way and see you immediately pull the diamonds within that area. So you do need to search the wall. See, there's some on the floor. But bam. So 16. Diamonds down. You can see our pick immediately repairs itself. So while we're off in these tunnels, it's worth searching. There's diamonds that away. Yep. Bam, bam, bam. And diamonds are our best friend. Now we don't have, haven't made any of the Tinker's tools yet. So we could you know, get a lot more out of our efforts by having Tinker's Tools, but we've already gotten 22 diamonds by doing that. And it's as painless as mining possibly gets. There's, and there's no hammer that compares. Forget all the other hammers, even the most advanced ones. They just don't compare to this. All right, diamonds that away. Just need to be aware of the caves and stuff. 
and you will create a mousetrap for yourself. So that's where you need to know where you're at. Let me see. Yeah, that that sounds just that's just a regular spider. Okay. But you yeah, you'll definitely get lost in your own caves. In your own tunnels that you make. Because we're we're following the valuables. We're not going by a really structured mining system. We're just going where the diamonds are. And so we do want to, again, avoid caves and such because there's no point. And you'll break right into it. That See, that's a thing. You will break right into a cave and then you'll have mobs and stuff to deal with. So let's go off in this direction. Even though there's no diamonds, that'll just give us our give us some guidelines here. So again, this is a very easy way of mining, stress free. And especially in conjunction with journey map. So that you can know what's ahead of you. So we're clear from here on. Just be sure in light. So you definitely need. A uh, overlay. All right. Diamonds this way. Very, very, very nice. Gratifying. You know, overpowered, whatever that means, man. I've I've done my share of mining, so we've gotten half a stack of diamonds. Uh, you know, Project E is not necessarily a tool that you should use if you're just starting Minecraft. You should really learn how to use the basics of Minecraft and Serve your time, so to speak. Uh, yeah, let's keep going in that direction. Well, we picked up diamonds there. You know, you do need to learn the, the basics of Minecraft. So I wouldn't say that Project E would be the first tool you would want to use. First mod. But... When, once you've mastered a certain level and done things hundreds and hundreds of times, then what is the use of... All right, diamonds. A big group of diamonds. We might want to check both walls. No, we got them in that one. Okay. Diamonds that way. Okay, we need to refuel. So if you click it and nothing happens, then your fuel is out. So we're getting plenty to, to fuel ourselves. You can see a lot of redstone. So diamonds that way. So here's a cave. So let's block it off. Now, we don't actually have cobble on us. But it should be the case that the cobble that we manually put in here won't get pulled. Because it's in the bag. It's what it picks up drops. So you can keep a stack of cobble on you. That away. 
So let's, uh, um, we don't really need any of these tools much anymore. So let's block this off. So we don't get any nasty surprises. And continue our search. All right, diamonds that away. You know, I love it, man. That is the way. The way to mine. Again, at, at because I've spent hundreds and hundreds of hours digging holes in the ground. And doing it, you know, the vanilla way. And so we're graduating beyond that. Yeah, we're, we're nice and clean here. That's why you want clean mining areas. So no diamonds in those chunks. That's fine. But we know for a fact that there's not. All right, diamonds. So let's see how where we're at. Gotten 48 in just a very short period of time. Um, iron and such doesn't much matter. Diamonds. And I haven't really even been checking below me. Um, it's just kind of one of those things that if you feel like you're getting into a dry spell, you can do that. But as long as you keep finding, finding them where you go, then just keep doing it. Not sure if we checked all this tunnel yet. So I just obviously hold the directional keys and just scan along the wall. Okay, so we're good to go deeper in here. Um, we're out of fuel. And that's what I was saying is that it's worth showing this stuff on camera because it's just, it happens so quick. I mean, it's so gratifying to do it. And these are valuable techniques. All right, so we've got some kind of crazy madness. There's some diamonds. Okay, let's cover that up, or just light it up, really, and make a bridge, I guess, here. Yeah, it looks like we're, it's not an exposed space, so. Because we are, we're still, we're still clean going in that direction for the most part. Um, K 
can't really easily scan. Here is skeleton. But just use it in conjunction with journey map set into the, with the show cave lighting turned off. And you should be able to easily tell what you're running into. Okay, so no diamonds that away. Uh, we'll hit. Now we're still clear. Fuel again, I suppose. And we need more torches. This is a good way to mine in the deep dark. If you wanted to do that too, we could actually go there and do it. It's double the um, density. Deep Dark has changed quite a bit, I think. It's not very dangerous anymore. A big lava. We'll take Lapis. It has some value to it. All right, so we'll basically get a stack. Let's see how we're doing, actually. So yeah, we're right at it. We'll just get a few more. This is something, obviously, on your own you do into your heart's content. Keep caves covered. That way you don't get any unwelcome surprises on your head. We're still only in iron right now, so we can definitely die. Um, let's do a quick sweep. Diamonds. Yeah, we're getting into more cave type areas. So we're good. I'll take that. So that's 500,000 more. So pretty much we paid for our tools. That's kind of what matters. Plus you get all this iron out of it. Okay, so I'm happy with that for now. We've paid for our tools. Now we just want to work our way out of here. And, and I mean, look at the holes that we created. So yeah, you, you definitely want to mark your spots. Or you will not find your way out. I believe it's this next one. Okay, so that works really well, really well. Um, just for the sake of it now that you're done with that part of the process, it's best to go ahead and turn off your, your guy here. And he took a couple things, took that cobble, as soon as you put it into your inventory, then it's going to take your cobble. And again... Keep in mind that, oh, it pulled that into the bag. And so we can pull these guys out. 
that doesn't have EMC. We could convert our gold. But you see how much land we moved <clears throat> and how our inventory is totally manageable. That That is just an awesome benefit, man. Because inventory management is the biggest thing that stops you from, you know, really going out and grabbing tons of resources. So we'll just capture all this for now. Then we'll use this guy here. You can do it in the in a regular crafting table too, obviously. Uh, get us some coal. And we'll smelt all of this so here I can just leave it all in there okay so there's our gold um, could have done that too okay for some reason now it's shift clicking so it's just this guy that it won't shift click it did it in the regular crafting station so that smelts for us <clears throat> boom 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 okay that redstone up put these guys in the bag and we're good so we have got 832,000 EMC, but as I said, you can put the Gem of Eternal Density back in to recoup the EMC. Now, you wouldn't want to do it in this case because you've already configured it, you know. So, that's something to, to keep in mind is once it's configured, and then you could pull out the Black Hole Band and just have it pull stuff into your inventory. Use it as a regular magnet. And it's also a bobble. So you can wear it as a bobble. Um, but it just depends on if you're going to enable and disable it. So like I said, we're at 832,000 plus that 319. So we're EMC millionaires at this point. We've crossed a million as far as the amount of EMC that we have. So excellent, excellent, excellent. So now we're going to treat ourselves. So let's get Swift Wolf's Rendering Gale. All right, now this guy is 559,000, but with it we can fly and do some other awesome things. So we want four feathers, four dark matter. You could see why I was so insistent that we get chickens. Four feathers, four dark matter, and the band. All of these items um, that are the rings have the band as their base. Okay, so Swift, Wolf, Swift Wolf's Rending Gale. So again, chunks out our EMC, but this guy is so worth it again fuel so we need redstone in our possession there's my food get some cobble just to have it okay so this guy's turned off at the moment uh, we can put it in the put him in the bag Put this in the bag. And we'll keep the repair talisman. So, you know, after all that, our armor's all completely repaired. You know, you don't lose any EMC from it if you capture it anymore. All right, so this ring is creative flight, essentially. We can now fly just like we would in creative same controls turn off our light 
And it's consuming redstone in doing that. So again, we have full creative flight. I'm going to turn off that. Probably the swamp we don't need. We're still 800 away from that, so we need to move. Now, it has some other awesome, awesome features to it. All right. Um, the first thing is that it has a couple modes. Interesting. So that, that locks. I'm not sure if I like that. May turn that off where it locks the shift. So when you're flying by itself, yeah, I don't like that. That's going to get turned off. Let's see, ninjas mod left shift. Just, I, I don't really need to lock a sneak in a sky block, maybe. All right, so it has these two modes. Okay. Oops. I'm just going through my keys here. So if you right-click it, it turns on this red mode. If you fly, it'll show purple if it's on. If it's off, it'll show blue. All right. Now this mode is a shield. And an amazing shield. And again, it's it's consuming redstone as it does this. There's a an EMC type battery that you can get as well. But now we just push mobs away. See? So they cannot get us at all. We do not have to worry about them at all, including skeletons. They cannot hit us with arrows at all. Look at that. They cannot hit us. So we do not have to worry about mobs anymore. Anymore. There's our massive crater. So another, in this mode, like if you turn off this guy, they can come towards you. But if you hit the H key <laughs> and right click them, then you th throw them. You, the knockback is real. All right, so that's in the mode H key. You'll either fly away or they will. Okay, so if you get a group of mobs on you, just point at them, right click, and you'll fly. You'll fly away from them. Not oh, witch. Don't want none of that. Uh, I believe a witch cannot hit you with her potions. It comes back on her. See, she gets pushed. She cannot hit you with her potions. So, no problem. Now, there is the ability to strike mobs with lightning as well. Okay, you throw these balls at them. See, it's with the H key. You can throw lightning, or you hit them. If it hits them, it throws them away. If it doesn't hit, then it uses lightning. So you kind of got to aim at their feet. Or, as I said, you can just... Throw out a lightning strike. <laughs> but that is so much fun. I mean, look at that. So 
So not only can you push him back in his shield, but you could just say, just, just get away from me, man. Just get out of my life and just fly away off into the sunset. So anyway, powerful, powerful tools, man. We are getting to be super powered here. And that is what Project E is. And, you know, you see people use it in playthroughs and apologize for it. Oh, I, I'm just going to use it a little bit or what? No, we are unapologetic. We want to be overpowered. And that's what Project E is going to give us. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Comments, feedback, suggestions, ideas. I'm going to turn off these stupid clouds. Um, yeah, comments, feedback, suggestions, ideas, all that good stuff, man. I'd love to hear from you guys. So thanks for so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. This is Scott Omato. Bye-bye.